Before we get into this episode, I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping me hit 1,500 subscribers recently. Um, it's been really appreciated the support I've had, especially on this career mode series I've been doing. Uh, please continue to do that. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the support recently. Hope you enjoy the episode. So here it is. Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 14 of my Juventus career mode. And today, we've got a very important game to kick things off against Milan. I've sorted the team out and uh, we are getting so close um, to when Tevez is coming back as well. Because I wanted to check how long it is until he comes back. It's three weeks. So it's going to be the start of um, March, I think. Um, and obviously he's our top goal scorer as you just saw there, 21 goals in the league, so we desperately need him back. Uh, but this is the team I'm going to be using to play against Milan, no it's not, it's changed for some reason to the one that I had a second ago. Uh, I think the team sheets have kind of just messed up, so I'll be back once I've sorted the team sheets out, and uh, yeah, hopefully that will be okay. Okay, so this is the team. Basically, what I've done is I brought in Ceceres, kept Varane at centre back, brought in Chiellini, um, Rodriguez at left back, Vidal, Pogba, and Guarin as the centre mids, and then Berardi is at centre attacking mid despite his uh, slight fitness issue. And then I've got Kane and Sterling up front. I don't want to start with Dybala because he hasn't been doing too well when he started. I'm going to keep him on the bench and hopefully we can get a big win against Milan. Okay, I wonder what Milan's team is going to be like. Um, I've not seen whether they've made any signings or not. I don't think we've signed anybody from them, so um, I'm not really too sure whether there'll be any um, interesting signings that they'll have made or any change to the team. We'll have to see. Uh, it looks like Nigel, Nigel De Jong will be starting. Uh, Alex is in there. Is that Abate? I think I just saw as well. Um, so pretty much the same team. I don't think there's anybody that they've changed. I probably won't recognise them if they have put anybody in the team that they don't normally have. Uh, but yeah, let's go on with this game and uh, see whether we can try and get an early goal. We've just had a good opportunity there. Guarin with the header. It was just about safe from, I think it's Diego Lopez in goal. Uh, and we do have a corner. But other than that, it's been a really um, dull first 25 minutes, if I'm honest. There's been very few attacks and we've not really had many opportunities. That is probably the best one that we've had so far. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Literally the last kick of the game before half time. Again, another one that I wasn't really expecting. But I, I suppose I should have been because it was just really poor defending. Weaves in and out of our two players there, gets around the goalkeeper and we can't block the shot. We're now losing 1-0. If Milan win this, they go one point behind us. Honda with the goal and literally just before half time. So yeah, like I thought, that is it. We didn't even have a chance to uh, go and have a shot there. Um, but yeah, we're losing 1-0 at half time. I might make a couple of changes actually because it's just not working up front for us. Right, I'm going to make all three changes, which is pretty risky um, at half time. But we're going to bring on Perriera, take Pogba off. Bring on Milares, we're going to take off, uh, I've forgotten who we're taking off there, uh, Berardi, and then Dybala we're going to bring on and take off Harry Kane. We're just trying to add some more pace into the team, and hopefully we can get back a few goals. Right, I've tried the long ball through to Raheem Sterling. Oh my god, it's actually worked. Raheem Sterling won all. Oh, you're going to have to watch that back on the replay. That is just a long ball from, I think it's Rodriguez in left back. And I thought I'd go for it, and it somehow worked. I don't even know. I didn't expect that much space to be behind their defence, but it is just a, it's just a smack up the pitch, really, uh, and a brilliant finish from Sterling in the end. We needed that because I was beginning to think these are the sort of moments where you need Carlos Tevez, but luckily we've managed to get a goal back, and we've actually got plenty of time now to go on and win the game. Right, so I'm going to have to change the formation because we're getting outnumbered um, out wide, basically. So I've had to go to this formation. I've put Sterling on the left, Malara's on the right, and then put Pereira in centre attacking mid just behind Dybala. That's probably going to make us um, less threatening in attack, but I've got to do it otherwise we are going to concede, and I'd rather get a draw from this game than a loss. Oh my god, as I say that, we just go and concede. Not the best time to pause the game. In the end, we've had to settle for a point. Not a lot actually happened in that second half, really. Um, we've just had to go for the point because at the end of the day, if I'd pushed any harder to try and get the goal, I would have conceded, I think, before actually scoring. Um, but I think it went well when I changed the formation. Managed to win back the ball a few times out wide, which really worked. Uh, but I think that's a fair result. I'm happy with that result because I didn't really deserve to win. As you've seen on the stats there with 35% uh, possession. So uh, yeah, we'll see whether we've got any emails, and uh, if not, then we'll go on to the next game.
Okay, so I did have a few emails, but there weren't anything particularly interesting. Um, I had a few squad reports um, from various players. And uh, yeah, basically nothing uh, particularly interesting that uh, really affects things. So we are going to get on with the next game. I am going to have to field a change team because it's our second game in about six days or something like that. Okay, so this is the team I'm going to be playing with. Uh, De Gea starts in goal again. In fact, I'm actually going to change that thinking about it. Uh, we are going to try out our second goalkeeper, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name because I'll probably pronounce it wrong. And uh, we've got De Chiglo at right back, Ceceres and Laporte at centre back. And Gaia, so a whole new different um, defence compared to the last game, uh, including the goalkeeper change as well. In midfield, we have two changes with Morone coming in at CDM and uh, Kovacic coming at, at, in at centre mid. But Riley's staying at uh, sort of attacking mid. And then up front, we've had two changes again with Dabala and Komen starting up front. That means on the bench, we have uh, Romelu, Vidal, Sterling, and Kane as my attacking players and midfield players. And then Rodriguez and Varane, as you'd expect, along with De Gea on the bench. So yeah, let's get on with this game. It's against uh, Chivio, I think it's, is it pronounced, something like that. Um, and I don't think they're very high up in the table. I'll have a little look where they are. And they are 13th, so yeah, not very high up in the table at all. Um, in fact, what I've just quickly decided is we are going to sim this game with this team. And we've got to get a win. It, it, it is a home game, so I think we should really win this one. Right, okay, I said we should get a win. Vidal with the penalty, so uh, that's a very good start. Varane gets sent off. That's not a good start in the first half. They've equalised. Harry Kane with the second goal. It's now 2-1. Let's get a third, maybe. Or just make sure we win. <laughs> that's the main thing. Sterling with the third. Well played. And uh, at least we've won this game now. 3-1. Varane with the sending off. Um, and I just random de randomly decided that I should change and uh, do a uh, sim match for this game because we do need to get through them, like I say. Uh, play suspended as we expect. Varane is out for a match. Uh, that gives us a chance to rotate things anyway. And we've got another game just two or three days later, so we do have to play this one, I think, because it is a way. So the likelihood is if we do sim it, we'll probably lose it. Okay, so I've changed a few things around, but I have actually kept with the same goalkeeper because De Gea isn't fully... I know it doesn't really make a difference because he is a goalkeeper and he won't do much, but I'm actually going to keep the same goalkeeper for another game. Um, we're keeping De Chiglio at right back, Ceceres and Laporte at centre back again, and Gaia um, at left back. In fact, I do say again, but it's not again uh, because obviously Varane got sent off in the previous match. Vidal's back in the team, Pereira's in, and uh, we've kept the attack the same as well. And the bench is pretty much the same for this game. So let's get straight into it. Let's play this game. And it is away at a random team. So we should hopefully win this one. Komen's through here. It's a brilliant ball from Dybala. Komen to shoot. 1-0. Brilliant start from us there. I could really tell as soon as we started. Our players were really up for this game. Komen with the goal. And it's a lovely little ball through from Dybala. And a nice little finish from Komen. And we are winning 1-0. It's a good counter-attack from us here, straight from the corner, Dybala with the goal, 2-0. That was just eight minutes later as well, brilliant finish from Dybala, this time the other striker scores. And a very good counter-attack from us there, straight from our, their corner that they just had. And a decent left-footed finish. Pogba to shoot, good save from the goalkeeper, it's not quite cleared yet. Pereira wins it back, Pogba oh, deflected out for a corner. This is on world class as well, and these players are just crumbling at the back for them. Berardi to take this corner. Laporte's in there, good save from the goalkeeper, another corner. Berardi will take again. Laporte will head it, no he won't, <laughs> not quite this time. And it's half time, we are still winning 2-0, pretty good first half there. We need to make sure we keep the clean sheet, and I don't think I'm going to make any changes just yet. Coleman's got a chance to shoot, if he can get past here. Dybala's managed to pick it up, and it's 3-0. That's a lucky one, but it's a good finish anyway from Dybala. And we've got a win now, I think, with 30 minutes to go. We'll watch it back on the replay. Very fluky, but we'll take the uh, goal anyway. Coleman was unlucky not to be able to get a shot away, but eventually it does fall to Dybala. And he just slots it away with his right foot this time. 3-0. Berardi running through here. He's got nobody in the box. That's the only issue. He nearly got past him. Coleman to shoot, and again... And Pogba, can he win this one? He has done. Dybala with the shot. Berardi with the shot and eventually goes in 4-0. Five minutes after the previous goal. And this is turning into a real thrashing now. And it's a perfect time to really bring in some subs. And uh, hopefully just secure the game and uh, finish off what we've started. 
you can see he gets very lucky there. It does rebound back off the defender and uh, towards Berardi. But a goal is a goal. We deserved it. The pressure was good. And uh, yeah, let's go make these changes. Okay, so I've brought on Harry Kane and I've taken off Komen, brought on Guarin and taken off Berardi, and I've brought on Romelu and taken off Pogba. Those are all three changes that I'm going to make. Uh, I did have a few other options like bringing on Sterling, but his fitness isn't 100% uh, uh, just yet, and same with the other three players um, that are on the bench. So I did decide to bring on those three players, and uh, hopefully we can just see the, the rest of the game out. Harry Kane's through this time on his left foot. Harry Kane, goal, 5-0. Harry Kane's finished it off. 10 minutes to go. And it is a real thrashing now. 5-0 it is at the moment. That might be how it finishes with only 10 minutes to go, but we'll have to see whether we can get a sixth. And that is it. It finishes 5-0. Brilliant result in the end. And a yeah, very deserved win, I think, that one as well. Uh, five goals. I can't remember who scored them all. We'll have a quick look, actually, just to recap. Five goals came from two from Dybala, who got man of the match. Harry Kane got one of them. And where did the other two come from? Oh, yeah, the two substitutes. I was wondering then, where did they come from? Uh, Coman got one, and then Berardi, obviously, with the other. So, uh, yeah, good result. And uh, we'll see whether we've got any emails and uh, things to look at. First of all, we are still four points ahead of Milan. And we're six points ahead of Inter Milan. Uh, so we are quite nicely in the lead at the moment. We're not obviously definitely going to win the title because there are, it's only four points between us. Um, but we are definitely in the lead um, by quite a nice amount. Tevez has returned from injury, which is brilliant news. And the suspension is over for Varane. So Tevez might play in this next game. We'll have to see how he's getting on. Um, I am going to sim this match as well just so we get ahead um, again by a few games because I do want to try and get through as many games as possible um, so that we finish the series within about 20 episodes, hopefully. Also, we finish the season uh, within about 20 episodes. The series will probably continue for another se um, season. And uh, yeah, let's quickly sort out the team and then we'll sim this game and then that'll probably be it for this episode. Okay, so this is the team I've gone for, and uh, we've brought De Gea back into the team, so Ceres is playing at right back, Varane's come back in after suspension, Laporte at the left side of centre-back, uh, Rodriguez also back in the team, uh, Vidal, Pogba and Pereira make up the three in midfield, along with Guarin just ahead of them in centre-attacking mid, and up front we've gone with Berardi and Sterling, who are on really good form at the moment. Tevez isn't included on the bench either. I don't want to introduce him onto the um, squad too early, so he has stayed in the reserves, along with Milares, Deciglio, Perlo, and Cohen, who have played recently as well. Uh, but the bench is pretty much similar to usual, really, um, with the usual players on there, other than uh, Chiellini, who obviously I don't want to get suspended, uh, so I've just rested him on the bench. Let's see in this game. Hopefully we can get a win against Atlanta. Now, I don't know where they are in the table. They're just above the relegation zone. So if they do win, that'll really help them out. Hopefully we can get a win though ourselves and extend our lead at the top of the table. Okay, so we've kicked off. We could do with an early goal to settle things a little bit. Dybala's got the early goal. That's brilliant news. 13 minutes in. Uh, they've had a booking for their player, Grassi. Dybala's got an injury, which isn't good. Kovacic scores, though. Um, luckily, Tevez is coming back into the team, and uh, Harry Kane has been brought on to replace Dybala. Um, Berardi's been brought on to replace Sterling. They've got a, a um, goal from Cesari, Cesarini or something. Uh, we are 3-1 in the lead with Guarin, and that is how it finishes. Another 3-1 victory from a simmed game. And uh, yeah, we've got one injury though, it's not looking too good for Dybala, hopefully it's only a few days, um, and at the most a week really, um, but we'd like to have him in the team as soon as possible. We are still only four points ahead of Milan, uh, we'll have a look at the emails, and he's out for six weeks, brilliant, six weeks. Another strike is now injured, that's the only downside to some in games, we do have to get through them, and we've got a big game against Roma, in which Tevez will probably have to start I would imagine. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed this, then please give it a like and subscribe. That would really appreciate it. Uh, we'll have a look at this from Tevez. Okay, so Tevez is suggesting that he should start. We'll certainly do that. We'll put him right back into the team for the next episode. Um, he doesn't want to be on the bench for Harry Kane starting. We won't sort out the team in this episode. We'll sort it out next episode. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you for episode 15 next time. Goodbye.